Section 6.2 gets into multiplying polynomials. And we should be somewhat decent at this because basically when you multiply polynomials, I don't care how long they are, if they got four terms, five terms, six terms, etc. Basically, you are distributing. Now, I wrote an example problem here. And if you would like to do your problems this way, please do. But basically, you have to take every term in the first polynomial and times it by every term in the second polynomial. Let me erase those lines here. So basically, you'd have to take x times the first term, x times the second term, and x times the last term. And then you would have to take the 7 times the first term, the 7 times the second term, and the 7 times the third term, and then simplify your answer. Every term in the first polynomial has to be multiplied by every term in the second polynomial. Now, that can get confusing at times, and that is why I'm going to teach you the box method. The box method will work every time. Basically, the first and only rule that you need in order to do the box method is to make sure all polynomials are written in standard form. Now, upon close inspection of my problem, I'm going to notice that the 4x squared needs to be over here and the minus 3x needs to be over here. I need to have it in standard form, and then this will work really well. And basically how the box method works is you notice that there are two terms here, so I'm going to write this vertically, x plus 7, and I'm going to draw a box to fit how many terms there are. There are two terms in the first polynomial, and in the second term, there are three terms, which is 4x squared minus 3x plus 5. And I draw my lines of my boxes to indicate how many terms there are. There are three terms in this polynomial, and there's two in that one, so I have six total terms that I will have after I multiply. Now, very simply, you just multiply for instance, this square right here, I'm going to multiply 4x squared times x. And you all know you add the powers, so this becomes 4x to the third. And then I'm going to take, for this square right here with my check mark, that's going to be negative 3x times x, which is going to be negative 3x squared. And for this square right here, it's going to be x times f plus 5, which is plus 5x. All right, now the bottom row, I take the plus 7 times the 4x squared, and I get 28x squared. I take the 7 times the negative 3x, which is negative 21x, and I take the 7 times the 5, and I get plus 35. Now, the nice thing about this is when you do the box method, you're going to notice the diagonals are the like terms, which you have to combine. So, 4x to the third is its own separate identity, and there's nothing to combine with it. So, I'm just going to write 4x to the third, and I'm going to write my answer in standard form. And then next, I have 28x squared minus 3x squared. That's going to make plus 25x squared. And then the next one are the like terms that have x to the first power, negative 21x and plus 5x, which is going to make minus 16x. And then the last one is just the plus 35, the constant term. There's nothing to combine with it. And there you go. You're done. There's your answer. Now it's your turn. I want you to try this one. Try the box method and see if you like it or not. All right, I'm going to notice x minus 2. I'm going to build my box, x minus 2, and then I've got three terms over here. But this term has to go first. It's not in, in uh, standard form. So i got to put negative x squared first, plus 3x second, and plus 1 third. Okay? So if you times these together, this becomes negative x to the third. 
this becomes positive 3x squared and this becomes positive x and this becomes positive 2x squared this becomes negative 6x and this becomes minus 2 so there we go again diagonally are your like terms so my final answer is negative x to the third which is that one and then these two right here make positive 5x squareds these two make negative 5x, and last I have minus 2. So there you go. And that's multiplying binomials times a trinomial. Now let's get a little more complex. Let's try the trinomial times the trinomial. If you feel you can do this on your own, stop the video and go ahead and do it and then check your answer. All right, I'm going to take the first polynomial and write it vertically. In standard form, start drawing my boxes. Here I got three terms times three terms, so I'm going to need nine squares. And the second polynomial, which goes on top here, would be x squared minus x plus 1. Again, if you've written it in standard form, your diagonals will work out as your like terms. Well, first box should be x to the fourth minus x to the third plus x squared. The second row, 3x times x squared would be 3x to the third, and then 3x times negative x would be negative 3x squared, and 3x times 1 is plus 3x. And the bottom row would be negative 5x squared, and then negative 5 times negative x is plus 5x, and then negative 5 times 1 is minus 5. And again, hopefully your diagonals are your like terms. Okay, so I start out highest term first, x to the fourth. And then I get 3x to the third minus 1x to the third, which is plus 2x to the third. The whole long diagonal in the middle, negative 5x squared minus 3x squared is negative 8x squared, plus 1x squared is negative 7x squared. And then the powers of 1 would be plus 8x, and then finally the minus 5. And that way you keep things nice and straight and orderly. Now I'm going to show you one more example in case you prefer the box method. Now if you notice this particular example, which I'm not actually going to work out for you, but I'm just going to show you for the sake of time. This has two terms, this has three terms. But the problem is the first one is missing its x term. It has 2x squareds and no x's. Now, it sure would work to do the normal box method and put two rows and three columns, but your diagonals then, if you do it that way, your diagonals will not work out nicely. Now, you're going to learn throughout this unit, which is why I'm showing you this, it's always important if you're missing a term to put zero in its place. 2x squared plus 0x is like the x term is missing, and then minus 4. This is a placeholder. It's important to have that in there. Now, the top one is going to be just the same, x squared minus 6x plus 3. And now you can go, and now your diagonals, your diagonals will be your like terms. But if you don't put this one in that I'm circling, it will still work but your diagonals will not be like terms. And that's how you multiply. If you've got further questions, let me know in class.